Hello CLI Magic followers. Welcome to another CLI Magic video. I'm Delta Ray. So on the 15th of September, I posted this command, join uh, two files together on certain fields. And I always have, usually when I use this, I'm using it to join a password file and a shadow f corresponding shadow file together. And um, you might have, I'm sure, you probably have other uses for it um, because it's basically like, as, as uh, this gentleman says, it's like a relational database operator. Uh, if you've ever used SQL join commands where you join tables together, it's very similar. So we have two files here, the, a password file and a shadow file, which holds the passwords in it. And I've needed to join these two together often uh, so that I could run a password cracker on uh, password files like John the Ripper. So the shadow file is basically where the encrypted password is stored in the second field here, but uh, it has the same first field, which is the username that belongs to. And then the password file has all the other information like your home directory and what shell you're using and what your UID and GID are. So to join these together, um, we basically tell it what the output is going to be. So you first say, I want the first field from the first file. And then I want the, uh, the second field from the second file, which is this encrypted string, followed by the third field from the first file, and then the fourth fifth, sixth, seventh. So I think you can see the format here is just the file number dot and then the field number. Um, and then I need to tell it what field in the files I want to join on. So I say on the first file, which means, which is signified by the dash one, I want to join on field one. And on the second file, I want it to join on field one as well. So this is basically telling it what field the two files have in common that it can look for. And then I give it the, uh, then I give it the delimiter that I'm in the file that I want to use to signify what makes a field. You can specify the same place, but I just, happen to put towards the end. So dash T and then colon, and then you give it the two files. And the order here is important because you've used the order earlier. And so when you run that, you see that it's actually, it joins the um, second field from the shadow file and replaces the second field in the password file with it. But you're not really replacing it. You're, you're just, you know, telling it what fields you want. If you wanted to have the second field from the first file, you could do that. Um, but in this case, I want to uh, make it look like I've replaced it. So that's a pretty easy command once you get used to it, and it can be very useful. Another command that's similar to this is the paste command, but this is a little bit different. It basically takes the lines and then concatenates the lines together uh, so they would be side by side. So you don't get the same results. You get um, a lot of extra data. So so here's the first file followed by the first line, the second file. Here's the uh, second line, the first file followed by the second line in the second file and so on. Um, so that's the way paste can be used. Okay, well, thanks for watching, and feel free to leave a comment below and let me know if you'd like to see any other videos. Until next time, bye.